What's, What's good, good, people? It's your boy Serge, Matt, <clears throat> Carl, and we are officially on episode three. Obviously, still recording in the beautiful studio Les Remarqués. So, if you guys want to uh, get yourself a dope ass studio, get your recording on, get your podcast started, this is the place to be. You know what I'm saying, <sighs> fellas? <laughs> today's episode. We're gonna put you on the spot about dating. Oh, that's. Oh, great. <laughs> and it's interesting because we have three, I know for a fact that we have three different ways of dating. Of dating. Mm-hmm. And com- like some some things are similar, but we also have like very like different ways of dating. Facts. Facts. So um, obviously for those of you, if you guys watched the first two episodes, you guys know these two guys were on Love Island. But obviously we've all had dating experiences in the past, right? <coughs> yep. And uh, I just wanted to touch on those subjects a little bit and dating overall, we're going to go through red flags, do's and don'ts. Uh, dates. You know, how you guys allocate, you know, who pays, who doesn't pay, this, that, all the dirty little secrets. Yeah, yeah. forget that. Let's get it. All right. So, first question to start things off. Now, it's always, you know, when you start first talking to a girl, you know, it's always, you know, it starts off on text or in the DMs or whatever. But as things get a little bit serious, you got to start, you know, talking face to face, right? Yeah. yeah. So, what I want to know is when you guys start now officially talking to the person, right? What do you guys consider are your f- biggest icks? Like in the first, because you guys know, you guys can pick up on vibes pretty quick. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. A message everybody could put a front. Yeah. But then when you're in person, everything changes, right? They're put on the spot. So in the first few seconds, for example, of meeting the person in fa- like face to face and having a couple words of exchange, what are your guys' biggest icks? I think we have the same answer for this though. Um, I think if she can't have a conversation, yeah. in the first like two, it's three crazy. minutes, if like she I have to initiate every single conversation or every question, every whatever, and she just stands there and answers, let's say, what do you do in life? Oh, oh uh, I'm a nurse. That's it. Yeah. And then doesn't say you, doesn't say like, oh, I'm a nurse. I've been doing this, 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 and this, and blah, blah, blah. And initiate a conversation, right? And I have to ask another question. Oh, okay. So you've been a nurse for how long? Five years. Yeah. Cool. But do you guys think that's just because they have nothing to say or that they're just really shy? I mm. think I think it's a mix of both because, um, <clears throat> first of all, if they're really shy, what I do is just, you know, just got to make them comfortable. Music whatsoever. Like, we're in a car just listening to music and then I put throwbacks, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I think it's more shy than anything at first. And then it gets to, like, they're comfortable so you get to have a normal d- uh, conversation, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's how it works for me so far. Yeah. So far, so good, you and, know? And what about you? What's your egg? That, that's definitely one of my aches. <laughs> <laughs> and both of y'all know when I'd gone to Toronto, <laughs> to, and there was no conversation, bro. It was dry, and dry, dry, dry. It was, it was. I mean, yeah. I mean, at that point, it's awkward. At that point, I'm like, okay, can we just like get the bill? And, like, it gets go, annoying as hell. So imagine you go to the restaurant, you guys are face to face, and there's no conversation. Nothing. Because you know you're wasting your time. She's wasting her time. So like, then, what's the point? And then, and then you have to pay for the bill. Also. So you have a yeah. yeah. That goes up to the next point. Also, yeah. I always pay for the bill. Always pay for always, the bill. Always, always, always. I know, I know. No, <laughs> I knew it. I didn't. Want, I didn't want to be the one to say it. Listen, but I know he has a philosophy behind it. Listen, my philosophy behind this: the person who invites pays for the bill. So if I invite the girl, then I'll pay. But if she invites me, you ask me to take me out. Why should I pay? Okay, so basically, a girl asks. Yeah, I'll pay. No, no, but you've been you've been offered to be taken out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the girl would be willing to pay. Like explicitly, yeah. she said, "Let me take you out. It's on me." Yeah, facts. But I'll still end up paying. Thing That's is, crazy. I don't understand how you go there and then sit down, have the dinner, and then they're like, "Oh, who's who's is it going to be one bill or two bill?" Do you just shut the fuck up and not say shit? No, no, you're no, just no, sitting no. and you're like, you're like, say something. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he's wasted. I feel like he does this. <laughs> he just <laughs> looks at her like, he, like he does, he does. well you invited me to <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how you got laughing but it, it happened to me still I'm not gonna lie wow like I didn't I don't, I don't care but if I get you, it if you it's invite crazy, but me I get it. okay I'll give you an example okay let's say let's say you're with a girl or whatever and then you, you're you comfortable in your home you just see you want to sleep whatever and then someone annoys you please let's go eat there let's go eat there let's go eat there blah blah and then you have to dress up you take your shower whatever whatever and then you end up going but you're a very comfortable watching uh, Avengers or some shit yeah, yeah and then you go there and then she eats she eats she's order like six plates whatever eats and then she looks at you she's like yeah so get the bill 
You were comfortable in your home at first. Why you asked me to fucking move my <laughs> like you get me, right? How do you how do you that's actually an interesting point. How do you guys feel if ever like let's say, you know, let's say your your intent is to pay for the bill, right? Yeah, let's yeah. say like in your mind you're about to pay. Mm -hmm. What do you how do you feel when <laughs> she starts to start stacking stuff? Like, oh let's try this and then, <laughs> and then oysters and then Bro. and then and then the feeling you know and then the crab and you know we're trying we're trying six different drinks. Bro, to be honest, back then when I was like in high school whatsoever, take out girls on dates. It used to be tough. You were going to restaurants in high school, bro? Yeah. I wasn't going there. I was going to Dairy Queen. Yeah, that awesome. I'm, I'm on, my, on, on my bike. I'm still going. In high school? Yeah. Still going. High school, CJ, BMX, all that stuff. Bro. Yeah. Take my BMX. BMX. Oh, my mom you, you, you put the pegs on? Yes. She, and then she goes. <laughs> 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 no, it was like that. And then uh, financially, I wasn't like the, the best. You know, it wasn't the best, you know, because you're in school whatsoever. Yeah. And then uh, basically, I get there. And there was that one time she was like, oh, I'll get uh, this entree this uh drink this 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 and that and i was just sitting i was like I'll, i'll just take water please you know what i'm saying yeah, it was yeah. tough and it's dessert i was like oh shit and the bill came and i was about to cry mm. i was like 150 and i was like bro i was it was so tough but i remember <laughs> we went to miss wong yeah I remember yeah and then he was still in a relationship i was in a relationship and uh and still are and <laughs> basically Both of our girls were ordering food, ordering food, drinks, They were drinks, packing drinks, the drinks, drinks and the drinks. food. And I was sitting and I was like, damn. And you know, it was the beginning of the relationship. Like, yeah. I, they could have paid, but like, I, I'm gonna sometimes, it's not sometimes, most sometimes. of the time I'll pay. But it's just. But to be fair, you also just came from winning your TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, I didn't get my check yet still. But, <laughs> but you but knew it was on it was it was, in the it mail. Was <laughs> yeah, it, it was coming, you know? And then I remember. <laughs> Both of us just sitting there oh my God. and seeing the drinks come in and the plates and nonstop. Oh yeah, can we have another one? Can we get shots? And me and him were looking every like time. this. We're like oh, every shit. time, everything they ordered, I was like. <sighs> and then me and him, I told him like, "Who's gonna have a bigger bill? You and me." <laughs> we had a bet. And we had a bet together since the bill was so <laughs> fucking big. And I think then we you got had the bigger bill. I, I think no, it was you. No, it was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was me. We got Alcohol. the yeah, bro. Think about it. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. It was me. Yeah. It had to be him. Yeah. And then we got the bills. And then, we, you know, and then you go, oh, is everything okay? Yes. Yes. Yeah, no, everything's no fine. Problem. Don't worry about it, honey. I'm saying this. The sex game should must have been A1 after that. <laughs> Bro. So when you guys, whether past dates or current dates or whatever, do you guys allocate, let's say, for example, like a certain budget? Like when you guys go out, you say like, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to spend or I'm not planning on. Sp okay. Well, let me be specific. I'm not talking about your girl now. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm not talking about your wife. Uh, I'm talking about like, like you're going on a first date, two dates on your third date. <coughs> Do you guys allocate like a budget? Like I'm only going to spend like this amount or I don't want to spend more than this amount. Or I'm specifically going to go to like this restaurant because I know that maximum. Mm. That's going to be I'm paying this amount. Yeah. Or I know it's cheapy Tuesdays. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're going out on a Tuesday. <laughs> So do you, how do you guys operate or maneuver around like first dates? The first few, the first couple of dates. I now have a budget. You do or you a don't? A budget. I you do, do now. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's a first date. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. first of all, me, the way I work or whatsoever is um, I'm talking the way I work as if I'm, I'm going at like 25. Anyways, um, the way I do it is uh, activities. Mm. Something that we could move or do whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? So nothing too expensive because it's the first. I don't want to waste like a $500 on a date. For a girl that I'm not even going to talk to after, like, you know, you, you know when you know yeah, you're yeah, the yeah, one yeah. and you're wasting your time. I'm not going to waste that much money on something that's so useless. Not useless, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For my first day, it's always, like, pretty much the same budget as ice cream. Walk and ice cream. Why? Let me tell you why. The reason why is because it's not expensive. And if we don't, we don't, we don't like each other, then I spend $12, right? But if I really like you, then on the second date, I'll bring you somewhere super mm -hmm. nice, right? And then I don't have a budget whatsoever because I like you, right? But the first mm -hmm. date... So like the first date said, is a test. Yes, because I have never <laughs> seen you in real life. Maybe the first two seconds she's going to see me, she'll Maybe be like, psycho. you're ugly as fuck. Maybe. Yeah, also, too. But at least I need to see you, have a conversation. The, vibes. the vibe. Let's say if we can't have a conversation, and I'm, I don't want to spend $500. Imagine being there. At a restaurant, and you know the bill about to be five hundred dollars, and you both sitting there in silence, and yeah. she's on her phone. That's crazy. Takes a picture of the food only, not you. Doesn't mean like at you or anything. And she tells you you like this, and she's like, "Can you can you move, move your, your hands two seconds?" 
And then she orders another she, drink. She has the audacity. And then she's like, oh, it's missing something. Can I have? And then she says, like, the most expensive type of drink or whatever, fancy. And then she puts it right here. And then picture, she goes, you know, she's like, she's like can, can you? Can you tilt the bottle for me? <laughs> We're fighting. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Have you guys uh, have you guys ever been pulled the the I gotta go to the bathroom trick and then leave about the for like no not well yo not like, leave <laughs> you, and I'm just sitting there as, like as a, the bill there. It's happened to y'all. No, no, no. Okay, no, yeah, no. no okay. okay, no, no. But I'm saying like the bill the bill comes. Yeah. Right. And she has she to go puts to the bathroom. In, she, the witches. <sighs> Puts no. it right there in the middle, wait, and, then, wait, and, then, wait. and then even before that, right? Like you, you know when the date's about to be wrapped yeah, yeah, up, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, the witch is gonna be like, you know, is it one bill or two, or whatever? And then the girl just so happens to be like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I just okay. Honestly, honestly, for my part, even if my intent was to pay, I don't like when a girl assumed that I'm gonna pay. Oh, I so. like when she just took her purse and does Try, like tries and, a little bit, you know? Yeah, and like, then I'm like, oh, it's, it's fine. Okay. I yeah, got it. I got yeah, it. I got yeah, it. I got it. Like if you just. Like, I remember I went to that day and the girl did not even look at the bill. Like, the bill just came and she did like this. Take. Oh, that's crazy. And then she's like on her phone, just yeah. chilling. And I, oh, okay, we're done. We leave. Yeah. As Yo, soon as, beep. Okay, let's go. I'm not going to lie. That is one of my biggest pet peeves, bro. Somebody what? that lacks gratitude yeah. at, at, the, at the end of a day. Mm -hmm. If they don't say, thank you for dinner. Right. Well, please. And, and it happens you. more often than not. Yeah. yeah. And that just that 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 is like my like second biggest ick. Yeah, it's most definitely. Basic logic. Just say please and thank you. You know the same date I'm talking about. This day, the girl did that or whatever. She did not say thank you after. So that was my first uh, ick. But I didn't say anything, and I brought her back, drove her back all the way to her house, which is like 45 minutes from my house. Drop her off, and then she said, "Have a good night," and then left. No thank you for the drive. No thank you for the night or whatsoever. You get a text back. Yeah, we spoke yeah. a little bit, but I ghosted her. Right. Yeah, Crazy. like, the, like, but I have another question. How do you guys feel when the waitress come with the bill and put it in front of you? Not in the middle of the thing. Just put it in front of you. Like, she assumed that you're going to pay. She doesn't know who's paying, but right away put it to your, uh, here, sir. I feel like it depends on the, <clears throat> I feel like it depends on the intent. Because the, the way that I do, and this is very, very recently, like, when I order, I order for the both of us. Mm. You know what I mean? Like we discussed, yeah, you know, then, about what we want to eat. But I order for the both of us. So I think when a waitress picks up on that, I think she could kind of see assume that you're pay, like yeah. who's kind of like taking the lead of, of, of the night. Yeah. But if it just seems like like a like a mutual, like we're both having a day, we're both ordering our own food, we're both eating separately and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's just a common it's a, it's a, what the fuck? Cat it's English. A societal thing that um it it's the, the men yeah. that it's the guy that has to pay. Yeah. To be honest, it never happened to me because I always jumped to, um, I was like, um, um, she comes with the bill whatsoever. And I'm like, oh, I'll pay. I just jump in it. You know what I'm saying? I don't wait for anything. I just, no awkward moment whatsoever. I was oh, I'll pay. It. I'll pay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's no like uh, her waiting or like her asking whatsoever. I just say it straight ahead. You know what I like doing though? This is just, this is just like a, <coughs> this is just like a, like a, a, a weird flex, but I like not even like looking at the bill. Oh yeah, oh, like the bill. You know oh the bill. God. The bill comes, comes and you're like, and only and you still you still keep it. You're still keeping the conversation going, and only when the waitress come, you go like, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I get what you mean. That's that's facts. <laughs> that's crazy. It comes yeah, in, yeah. and then you're just like, uh, on debit, please, or credit, whatsoever. You just pay, beep, yeah, tip, and then that, we're leaving. That's it. Have a good night. Yeah. You, you look like a, You know the yeah. the black thing that they put the bill in. Oh, just put the you you just put the card. Just you know, I know what I ate. I know what she ate. I know it's gonna be expensive. It's cool. <laughs> we good. But deep down, she's looking at you and she's like, "Damn." <laughs> but deep down inside, you're like, "Damn." Damn. <laughs> uh, Shit. But I feel like it, I feel like it's it's those like small little things that like just like those like little Details. chivalrous things that, mm. that, that 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 go a long way. Yeah. Because I think I, I, I feel at least I don't not not for us, but I think for the most part, I feel like for a lot of women, chivalry is dead. Mm -hmm. I feel like they think in 2022. That's, that's facts. You know, yeah, you know why? Because uh, I went on a date, uh, I think a couple of weeks ago, and I opened the door for the girl, and she was like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "I'm." And that's the that's something that I know that we do mm. a lot all, yeah, all the time. You know what I'm saying? I open the door, I just wait for her to go to go in the car, close the door for her, and, I, and everything. Every time she was like, she's like, "Oh my god, what's what's happening?" We're walking outside in uh, downtown, whatever. And then I went on the side okay. where the, the where the car drives, whatever you yeah. know. And then she was like, uh, why are you doing this? And I was like, oh, I just explained her. She's like, the only person that was doing this with her was her dad. Yeah. And she was like, what the hell is happening? She, she liked it. You know what I'm saying? It turned her on 
But like yeah. it's crazy how no one else, not no one, but like does it anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like for me, it's just like how I was raised. So I, I got to do it like that. You know? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, those are the do's and the don'ts that I wanted to talk about because there's the these are the f- these are the things that I always do yeah. and that I even try to follow through if ever it turns into a relationship that I, I still keep it to that because you can't start off one way and then flip the script. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So if I'm so the do's that I do is. When I go to pick, first of all, I go to pick her up at her place. Mm-hmm. Uh, before she even gets to the car, I get out of my, get out. Yeah. I open her door, mm-hmm. close her door, get back on my side. When we arrive at the spot, she stays in the car. I go open the door, and 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 if it's raining or whatever, I'm I'm dropping her off in front of the restaurant first, bringing her in, and then I go park the car, yeah. um, paying the bill, and then just you know just small stuff like that, walking on the side of the. The street, yeah, yeah, putting her on the side of the building, not of the street, <laughs> <laughs> not of the uh, street, <laughs> and 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 just small like courteous stuff like that because that goes probably a, a further, um, like further away mm-hmm. to like turning them on than it does to like paying the bill mm-hmm. yeah. or to just taking them out to the restaurant mm-hmm. or hearing what you had to say. Yeah, you do your extra points the actions regardless. you know yeah because you could say a whole bunch of shit but it's what you actually like do that i feel like is is what's definitive for them action speaks louder than words for sure and i feel like i'm like i'm gonna keep saying it i feel that a lot of women think that chivalry is dead which i have to agree knowing the mans that we Our know society now it's fairly it's fairly dead for the most yeah. part yeah you know guys are just picking them up even then could could you pick me up please that's I don't crazy. know how it would feel if I was a girl. I mean, l- if, listen, I get it. everybody's situation is different, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, can't, I can't hate. Yeah. But I can't imagine myself being asked or being offered from a girl being like, 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 like where do I pick you up? That's crazy. I'd be and like, excuse me? <laughs> drop, drop <laughs> Am I going to school? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't, yeah, nah. I, I can't do that. Nah. And then a the definite don't that I don't do is for the first like series of dates unless it's like getting serious there is not one time unless she asks which i would find a little bit weird there's not one time that i will ever bring up my ex in a conversation okay mm-hmm. that is one of my biggest don'ts that i don't do mm-hmm. because i i i find like you're talking about that like within the it's first couple of days stuff, it's kind right? of it's kind of weird it's just a red flag it's not you know weird. It's and red and, f- and not only that but if i'm going on a date it also means that i'm ready to date exactly yeah. Yeah. therefore my past is in my past and like we shouldn't like it doesn't need to be discussed if if it's getting serious and you want to know about me and my past mm-hmm. and you want to know how it was like then i'll like i'll for sure tell you yeah but like if we're on a date, like I'm trying to get to know you. Exactly. You know so why I mean? talk about my past if I want to get to know what's your? Or why do you randomly want, feel like you want to bring up yours? Like, is this is this a date or is this therapy? Yeah. Oh, I, it brings shit. me to my other question. You've been in a relationship, Sergio, for six years, and now it's been a couple months. You're single. Every time you say six years, he always thinks that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn. Six years, and you've been uh, single for a couple months. Yeah. How's the dating life now for you? It's definitely it's definitely interesting. Um, <clears throat> at at first I, at first I was worried because you know whenever you go for like the first th- oh, fuck I can't English, fuck can't English. <laughs> when you start going for the th- oh, what the <laughs> <laughs> yo you're good Am I okay time, when you start going through the first few dates yeah. um, of um, like your post breakup it's always a little bit awkward you're not sure you kind of feel a little bit guilty. Um, you're not sure if you're doing the right thing. You feel like you've been out of the game and, and, and so on and so forth. Um, I, I have to admit that having like a social media presence made it, you know, <laughs> easier yeah. to to like, to get on more and more dates. So, you know, practice makes perfect. Um, and not only that, but his recent video that blew up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Two point two million. Views two point two million. I'm at two point two million views now. Bro, there's, there's, I don't know what it's at. The last time I checked, there was five hundred <laughs> comments, yeah. just talking about the vibe or mm. are you single? single? Are you single? Are you single? Are you single? Oh, he's cute. He's cute. He's Not cute. only that, but there was one girl that, that that's going up to the top comments now. She said, "Ladies, I just checked his last few videos. He is in fact single." Yeah, I saw that. That's crazy. That and my crazy. DMs on Instagram, yeah. I can't. I, 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 there's no more business. I have no more business inquiries anymore. <laughs> it's just, are you single or are you not? Anyways, yeah. but anyways, 
Um, but for dating itself, the, the first few days, as you guys know, weren't the greatest. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> I would never assume that the, the, the person that I'm dating is going to, you know, do what my ex did to me or stuff yeah. like that because that would be unfair. I wouldn't be giving that person a fair a chance. chance right? yeah. So I always try to be open-minded. And, um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, recently, the Look at him, he's blushing. <laughs> no, <I'm not> blushing. <laughs> but I've I've had some I've had some really good like last few last few dates for sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the type of dates where you kind of like you go I go into that thinking like I know it all, like we know the game, we know how to talk, we know what to say, yeah. we know how to, you know, play with the minds, we know what the game is. Mm. But then like I go on these on these last few dates where it, the game has feels like it's completely different mm. which is sick and i'm a guy that likes a challenge and you guys know that yeah like and you feel like that person can challenge you you know what i mean Mentally and and that to me well. that to me like it speaks it speaks levels you know yeah. so like uh like we we had gone on a, on a date and i had never done this before and i think you guys might have you guys are seem to be the, the types that might have done it but like for me it always i order my meal what i want she orders her meal she orders what you know mm. what she wants and you know you want to try try sure but no the Every single day that I've had since then with this person, it's been we order, but like for the table, and we're just all. That's dope. Doing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nice. But like the sim yeah. the simplest thing like that to me, it feels so unconventional from all the other dates that I've had in the past mm -hmm. in my in my life for for that for that matter, and just the fact that that's different to me. Like it speaks volume. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's a turn on also in a way. Yeah, it's a, yeah. it's a turn on because like you you think that you know all girls are are the same, right? And then like that situation happens, and then you're you're just you're like down. Yeah, you're like I thought I knew everything that there was to know about it, and then this comes along, and yeah. now it's different. Guess what? You know what I mean? Yeah. And not only that, but like just you know, like from the from. You know, conversations is, are, you know, are super important. I feel like if you could go on like deep levels of conversation, I feel like that speaks a lot too. And not only that, but I feel like if there's no awkwardness and silence, I feel like it's a big one. You know, when you guys are just good yeah. in each other's silence, yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's also a good thing. Without like, you're not, you're not thinking of what you, you, what you want to say next. It kind of just, you know, comes up and then, you going know. with the flow. Yeah, going it's with natural. the flow. It's natural. It's pure. Yeah. yeah. So, no, wait. I have the same question for you. How's been uh, since your single husband the dating life? The dating life. It's do do we can we consider what Carl does dating? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're calling no. it? No, my dating life. Ah, shit. You good? I can't English, bro. <laughs> no, it's nice. It's um. Uh, how do you say that? It's uh. What? It's all right. Why are you changing your voice, bro? Because. <laughs> <laughs> How's, uh, how's how's dating, Carl? How's dating? Okay, well, for me, for the past like a uh, month, I've been more focused on my stuff. That's true. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I've been uh, dating on a couple of dates here and there. I, th as you guys know, did, dude, pot. Did he just say here and there, mm. buddy? When you started, yeah, That's yeah, what? Here, here. <laughs> you went rampage mode. Rampage. Carl here and here, not here disappear. And there. Here and here. I was like, okay, you know what? Like, yeah, they, 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 they. Since spending, and if you're, since you're, I'm always paying, paying for the, the bill. So driving, yeah, driving. You're, and you, and you buddy, you're far. not, you're not, you're not driving. <laughs> you're driving. driving. <laughs> Yo. Just for people, this guy live on another island than both of us. He just lives in a complete different place, that, it's which a nice is like, spot. no, it's like an hour and a half from here, so it's very far. And then he has to go to his dates and drives an hour. <sighs> Every single time, regardless where he's going, he has to drive at least an hour. Isn't yeah, I mean, crazy? I mean, it's it's worth it. It's nice. You know, I get to know people and to talk. Anyways, but uh, <laughs> as you guys know, uh, when I got back, whatever, I was uh, on a couple of dates, actually. And then... Uh, Stop saying couple. A couple means two. You've been on a few... You were on a few dates. I went on a... Quite a few dates. <laughs> a couple few dates. <laughs> 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 but uh, it was nice. Uh, I met... Uh, a friend, and uh, it was great for a, a good like. Uh, yeah, Carl. Yeah, yeah, friends. It was it was great for yeah, like yeah, a good yeah. like two two weeks and a half round so. Yeah, yeah. What great friends, <laughs> two weeks. Yo, listen there, I'm trying right <laughs> now, okay. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> and then something happened. We just stopped talking, but uh, 
since then, I think I've been more focused on really myself and not going on dates. I keep like canceling because I don't want to. <laughs> it's true. He's canceling yeah. all his dates. Finally. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. all of I have to change your name from my phone now. You're yeah. no longer going to be low standards. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's good. It's, it's good to see you. Focus yeah, on your grind exactly. Yeah. I, 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 I do have to say, though, and I say this humbly, I think, though, that I think me and Matt could take credit that. Yeah, a, whole, a, lot, that, a lot. That, that you're that way. Yeah, because I, I was going. Anyways, like I said, a couple few days, but now I'm like, uh, I keep canceling everything because I want to, instead of spending my time on, let's say, useless days that I'm not going to do anything or like um, go forward uh, with uh, this girl whatsoever, I'll just focus on doing my thing, working out, um, uh, doing my videos, editing, uh, talking to customers, uh, talking to collabs, like to have collabs whatsoever. So I think it's uh, I think it's a good thing. I've I tried just a <coughs> bit. But uh, you know, I'm just doing me now. Yeah, as you should. Yeah, but it is a good thing, and I mean, I know when you when you are single, I know you focus on your grind too, and I know mm. that dating is not is not on your mind. Um, I'm super picky. Yeah, super hella picky for who I go on dates. But just, you had a phase before, uh, most definitely, right, where you were like, yeah. yes, same thing as him. Right, a hundred percent. But I, we're I, the same, bro. I think I think it's a phase. I think we all go through that through that phase. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so too. Yeah, and you waste so much money on dates. That's why I go for ice cream now. Money, time, energy. Yeah, I wasted a lot of money. But it's like that phase where you understand more or less of what you do and do not like. And what you want, what yeah. you don't want. Well, actually, so given this new like horizon that you have, are you? Do you feel like you are dating to date because you want company, or do you feel like you're dating to date because you are looking for a potential partner? Um, the way I see it is I'm not looking for anything. So if it comes, it comes, you know. I'm not going to start, like, uh, trying to find love whatsoever. But regardless, I, I would be dating to for love, you know what I'm saying? For, like, to have my, my you know what I'm saying? My, my, little, my yeah, little boo exactly. thing. My little boo thing. So, little, if, the, so if, the, if the right person comes along, you'd yeah. be open to, like, Yeah, 100%. If it's down. tomorrow, it'll be tomorrow. I'm ready. Damn. Tomorrow? Okay, not tomorrow. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, ouch. Yeah. I'm, I, I, it'd be for uh, to date to marry. Yeah. Mm. So um, we we spoke about certain certain icks, right? Uh, but when starting to get to know a girl, right? What do you guys consider are not icks? Because icks could just be like something that you know that like turn you off a little bit that you yeah. that you could kind of like accept, right? But now it means more so in terms of like what are things so like red flags that is a definitive like hell no. I know after this date, like we are not gonna, we're not gonna go. To, I'll, 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 I'll say one. It's kind of like going back on what I said before, and then you guys could go off on your own tangent. But like for me, like I said, if they bring up their ex, mm -hmm. I was about to say that. that's a red flag. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't see why we're having this kind of conversation. So like things along those lines. Like what are what are the things that you guys feel that if they act a certain way, if they do something in particular, if they say something in particular. Mm -hmm. Um, for me is if I end up meeting you with your friends so like we go on a couple dates and at some point we go to like a party that she invited me and i see all her friends her best friends or whatever or we go to a certain place and all her friends is there and i see that she's not the same person that i've I met know. on dates wow. i cannot like it literally annoys me super fast like i'm so like who is that you know this is a very a big egg for me uh i would say um attitude in front of other people too because I don't do that. Like, it doesn't matter how mad I am, like, towards you if you did something. And f if we're in public or there's other people, I'm still going to be the same. And I'll talk to you and be like, listen, can we go talk outside? And then whatever, I'll give you attitude there. But I'm not going to give you attitude in front of other people. Scene, yeah. A whole scene or shit like that. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So if you do that because there's other people around and you're trying to front, I don't like that. Like, mm -hmm. this for me is, like, a goodbye right away. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. I get that. For me, it's pretty simple, bro. I, you guys know me. I'm goofy as hell. I like to joke around. I like to, um, the way I talk to people. They like they feel comfortable after a while. You know, after like a good thirty minutes talking, they're they're comfortable. Mm. And that's that's everyone. I I, I gotta say, it. but uh, if she's like super shy, but like really shy, you know what I'm saying, and doesn't talk whatsoever, and then she can't like I can't like break her like to to just like Being feel like comfortable. comfortable that I I can't mm -hmm. you know because I'm like I'm good at doing this, and if if I can't, it's like. It, it gets like awkward because I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, and it doesn't work. So that I'm just wasting my time. You're Can you imagine that you're trying to be funny and the girl just dead ass looks at you and be like, yo, you're, you're not, not funny. funny. 
Actually, that's another one. That's another red flag. If if a girl starts talking like a hood man. <laughs> oh my god! Shit! You know? Yo, yes. my guy. Yo, you're a waste, Yo, bro. What you saying, dog? You're not funny. Quit like imagine, imagine you joke. You know, saying like, you know, like your turn to pay. Yeah. I said, what you mean? <laughs> no, what you mean, fam? No, she says, what you mean, bro? Broskis. What are you talking about? Bro, take bill. the bill. What are you trying to say? That's crazy. Trying to square up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> you want to take... You're you trying to square <laughs> up? Like, does he <laughs> want to take us outside? <laughs> she, Two minutes outside? I right, said, so let's come in. Pay the fucking bill, then meet me outside. <gasps> On God, you, you'll be like... <laughs> On yeah, God, he's just going to take his phone and he'll be like... Yo, search. <laughs> Matt. What, what the, the fuck, fuck is that? happening? <laughs> oh, yeah. I lose my shit, bro. I lose brain cells. I'm like, well, what's happening right now? Another... Uh, another well, and, you know, to, to one your point, it's actually very, very true. And, I, like, now that you bring it up, Sat, like, it it, it clicks. Because when, when we had gone out and I had introduced y'all to somebody, mm-hmm. my one of my main concerns is that she was going to switch up. Mm. With, uh, with, with that, in front of you guys, mm-hmm. or well, not no, that also because her friends were around. That also yeah. that that could have been a possibility too, mm-hmm. and that's why I told you guys at the beginning, like I'm gonna be on my best behavior. I'm gonna gauge the vibe, yeah, and act accordingly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and then it was awesome. It was great. It was great. It was funny. Okay, was guys, lit. relax. Okay, relax. <laughs> <laughs> he's no, man, we have, a, again. We have a, a conversation to finish with her. Yeah. Also, a bunch of questions. A couple questions. Actually. Yeah, a lot of questions. Just to, like, you guys gonna expose me on my own podcast? What do you mean? Oh, you know, you guys have questions to ask her. Yeah. yeah. They don't even know who we're talking about. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So so what's up? What are you stressing? No, I'm not stressing. Like, You're yo, good, bro. Yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I got a couple of questions for her. See uh, what she thinks about uh, some subjects. And, you know, just her way of thinking. Anyways, really. we're talking about dating. We're not talking about my situation. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, I have, I have one question. It's kind of out of subject, but is uh, stills. So I'm going to put you in context, right? So um, I had a girlfriend for whatever, a couple months or whatsoever, whatever. And my girl is a 12 out of 10. She's fun as fuck. She's good at Now she's my ex, been my ex for three years. And then the same girl comes up to you or to you to like kind of date three years later or whatsoever. How would you guys react to this? Oh, we're boys? Yeah. Your your ex comes up to yeah, me? Yeah, like three years later, she's a 12 out of 10, body 12 out of 10, face 12 out of 10. She's super nice. And we kind of broke up on some stupid shit or whatever. Easy answer. The minute that a girl dates my boy, she goes <laughs> from a 12 out of 10 to a 0 out of 10 in my eyes. <laughs> Dead literally. ass. There's nothing happening. There's so no so let's First say- of all, I'm... I'm Yo, my bro, look at this. What the fuck is? What is she doing? That for, first thing I'm doing. Uh, some 100%. real shit. Yeah. Still, yeah, yeah, no, see, the minute it's 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 crossed off, like, cause how how do you feel? Cause we like, yes, I, my trust is to like 110 percent with you guys, right? Mm-hmm. But I see a lot of guys go, dating. Yo. Yeah, they go for their ex girl, the boy ex. What, bro, you, you know what's point. messed up? It's because they had a crush on her. Yeah, but I don't way. get it. There's so many fish in the sea. Like, what? Why? Out of everyone. Like, uh, uh, that ass, like, I'm going to put just out there. Let's say my ex that I had, I learned that there's, like, so many guys, like, so many, not so many, but guys that went towards her after we weren't together. And these guys were my boys. Wow. And I, every day, every day I just learned some new shit. And and I'm like, okay, so him too. Like, and all these guys were guys that I'm chilling with or whatever. Not necessarily my boys like you guys, yeah, yeah. but just like, you know, people I hang with or mm-hmm. like I can see at a basketball game or whatever. So I'm just so annoyed because I'm like, why, why, why her? There's that's so many disrespect. other people. So that's why I ask you guys. But do you feel that it is, do you feel like the, the fault is equally shared? Do you feel like your your ex should also kind of like be like yeah. at fault? But like 90% of the time the relationship ends on a toxic way and she just does it to annoy you or like to out of spite oh yeah um, or be toxic because she mm. knows that it's gonna annoy trigger you trigger you yeah. yeah trigger you whatever so then yes but if like you guys finish on a good relationship and and you guys are just good friends and she still does it obviously I'll be like you know exactly my values towards mm-hmm. that and you still do it then I just lose respect towards you you know yeah but yeah 
No, nah, it's a no go for me. Yeah, no. They, like I said, the minute that y'all start dating, she's she goes from a twelve to a zero. Yeah. Yeah, we use uh we use this uh blacklist. I have I have that. Yeah. We have that with Michu. I've been using that since I'm like in high school. Shout out Michu. Shout out Michu. Michu. Uh, blacklist. So as soon as you date a girl, I have this blacklist which I put the name on the blacklist. Yeah. Not an actual blacklist. But yeah, no, yeah, you get what I mean. Blacklist. Yeah. And this girl's untouchable for the years coming. And like 20 years, 25, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. She's on the blacklist yeah. forever. Yeah. And we always talk about it. So uh, it's it's good to know blacklist. I don't know, I don't know your blacklist though, if I think about it, because we never spoke about it. No, but I haven't been like dating, dating like that mm. either. You know, I have a, like what two like real relationship, three mm -hmm. max. Yeah. yeah. So my blacklist is pretty short. And even then, like, I don't think it's your even for you, I think I have two on on on, on blacklist. <laughs> what do you like, mean who? who two on two? blacklist okay I makes I, sense i think i got it down okay guys. yeah yeah that's great yeah i got it too i mean i don't see any, as the the people i know in your life it could only be two person in the blacklist yeah okay yeah <laughs> what's up <laughs> uh, uh, you guys know my blacklist do you guys know no you shouldn't. I don't. Yeah. I have one. That's it. One. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. I know your blacklist. Huh? I know your blacklist. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say. Okay. Damn. Damn. I I don't. I don't think we have the little. We. Woo. Can English. I don't think we don't have. T yeah, try 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 one more time, bro. You got this. Take a little bro? break. Wait, wait a second. We don't have the same type of um, girls that we like. Also, I think. Uh, no, we I do. Mean, no, we do. We do. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like overall not. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. That and, leads us into our next series <laughs> of questions. Um, Y'all's type, because we did we did a, we did a story the other day yeah. about certain types of what we of what we like or don't like. So we're gonna get into that. So in terms of types of women, I think we do share. Like, I don't think we ha like. I think we have maybe like a preference more mm -hmm. towards one than the other. But yeah. like, if we end up going with one that wasn't like our top one, that's yeah, in yeah. our top three, like we'll still. We'll like still, uh, be, work it out. Like beyond okay settling for that. Yeah. I mean, but for me, it's not necessarily like the looks is the personality first. Yes, of course, you get the looks. Oh, that's right a good away. point. Yeah. It is a good point. But like I, what I'm trying to say is you can be the baddest female ever. Mm -hmm. Fucking 15 out of 10. Yeah. If your personality is ass, I swear to God, you drop to a 6 out of 10. But that would still mean that personality comes second, though. No, I guess yeah. first, you know what I mean. When you go for someone, it's, it's for looks. No, no, I, I agree, hundred percent. I'll say it might it might sound it might sound like um, like pretentious on my part, but like one hundred percent, like at first, yeah. At first, at first like, it's looks. I think that's mm. everyone. It, it's looks because when I date, like the the kind of wife that I want <laughs> in the future, yeah, is. I want it to be for me. It represents like a status thing, mm -hmm. you know. As much so as like the clothes that I wear, the car that I drive, and stuff like that. The shoddy that I'm with also represents part of my status, mm, yeah. you know. Uh, and just I'm just gonna go out on a little tangent. But what I've learned with that is, given that we are particular, right? We you know strive to get ten out of tens, twelve out of tens, whatever. Yeah. I think what a lot of guys can't handle is that they want a ten out of ten. But then they can't handle the attention that comes yeah. with Most yeah. the ten out of ten. A lot of a lot of guys are very insecure when they have themselves a ten out of ten. Definitely, mm -hmm. bro. I, but they they want like the best of both worlds. They want and her to be a ten out of ten, and, and her to stay at home, yeah, yeah, yeah. not do anything, not mm -hmm. dress a, a certain way, and only be theirs. You know, <sighs> that's yo yo that's guys. Hard. That sounds crazy. I want a ten out of ten, but I also want her if if. If I'm dating you yeah. and like to eventually have a relationship with you, that means I know that I chose someone who's smart enough to know how to handle themselves in yeah. when a public scene, to... when I'm not there, mm -hmm. even under the influence. You have to be able to handle your own shit. And yeah. that's what I think is important. If you have a 10 out of 10 girl, she has to be able to know how to handle her own shit. Yeah. You can't police her. Like She has to have her head over, uh, like on her shoulders. Her, that's her life. Also. And at the end of the day, I feel like just in dating in general, you never know what's going to happen. You never know when you're going to get hurt. You're never going to know if your partner's going to cheat on you. You could only hope that it doesn't happen mm -hmm. and trust them enough that it won't happen. Yeah. But there's always that that chance. But if you, you trust them enough, everything. exactly. If you trust mm -hmm. them enough, it's it's a very, very mini school, if, if not an existent chance that it happens, mm -hmm. if the relationship is good, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I need my girl to be like a baddie and she knows she's a baddie you know? so mm. and when she walks when she's out there clubbing yeah. if I'm not there whatsoever I need her to look 
great to, you know what I'm saying? To just like, I need her to make other guys turn their head, be like, damn, who's this girl? You know what I'm saying? Same. I like when 100%. I get in the room. That energy is like, is, it's great. And then we walk together and people are like, oh, damn. Damn, power couple. Oh, they're cute. All, yeah, all that exactly. stuff. You know what I'm nah. Power not couple. There, not here, only about her, but mm-hmm. y- y- y'all two together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, exactly. it's it's like a it's like, a, like an item thing. You yeah, know? and people feel the energy also. It's crazy. Like yeah. they feel, you know, when you see like a couple and they're like, you're like down, they're great. You, you just feel it in the air. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need people to like feel that energy and be like, oh shit. Yeah. Those are nice, you know? Yeah. yeah. I, I I like when I get in the room and all the guys turn around to look at my girl. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I like, shit. yeah. And you, yeah. And you, you only use your peripherals yeah. to, yeah. <laughs> like, you to see, see they're looking. Yeah. But then you're so you're so secure and you're so confident that you're not even batting an eye at these yeah, guys. You know no, what I mean? Because you know that she's a ride or die mm-hmm. by your side. You know yeah. what I mean? I love that shit. And then then she walks and then I'm like, yeah, What's she's up? bad, eh? You do yeah. thing. Can't get it. It's mine. Yeah. yeah. yeah and, you, and then you just <laughs> smack it <laughs> for everybody to see. Be like, "What's up? Uh, this is mine." Uh, I love that. Do you guys uh, feel? And we're gonna go and we're gonna continue off on the other things, but I, I don't want to lose my train of thought. Do you guys feel? That you guys are jealous people? Not a single bit. Because I, I was having I was having this conversation with, with someone the other day, and um the person thought that I was the jealous type, and yeah. I was like, I'm not, I'm not jealous, but I am protective of what's mine. I am exactly okay. you know what I mean? Uh, from a from a safety standpoint. Mm-hmm. You know, nothing sh- toxic. Sh- nothing toxic. I just I like to know. Like where you're at in the off chance that something has happened or you, you don't answer me anymore, okay, yeah. I know where to pull up. Yeah, okay. Or if you know your friends ask me like where were you last at, I like I'll be able to give like that location. You know what I mean? If somebody's like closer to them than I am, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Um. Or for example, let's say I'm with my girl, right? We're at a club and I see a guy talking to her, right? First off, I won't do anything because, like mm-hmm. I said, she knows she has to know how to police her own shit, mm-hmm. right? But then if I start seeing now the guy not being disrespectful towards her, yeah. that's when I'll intervene. Because mm-hmm. that's like the protective side. You yeah. know what I mean? Okay. But I'll 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 even leave it. If I like if the guy is, you know, like m- you know, being a little handsy with her, if she's handling her own shit and she's removing the hand and she's creating that distance and it, and and if she's she, if she's still talking, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, all right, I, I'm not gonna be like Stop talking to him. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be like standing up or like telling you guys, you're like, what the fuck is going on? Mm. Trying to act like a big man whatsoever. Like, why would you? Like, if that's your girl, she's coming with you, you know, at the end of the day, you know, that's it. Like, you can't expect, like, if you're, if you're dating a 10 out of 10, you cannot expect her to be approached. She's going to get approached, Mm -hmm. you know? To get that attention. Exactly. Exactly. But if she's able after that to make you feel that you're the one that she wants to be with at the end Mm -hmm. of that interaction, Right. Or if she does a boss ass move and she says, "Yeah, my boyfriend's right over there," mm. you know what I mean? You're just sitting like, yeah, and you're just, yeah. yeah, yeah you know? you or know? she says like, "Yeah, like this is my, you know, like this is my boyfriend," you know, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like stuff like that, like goes a long way more than you know people know. You it's know? just like getting touchy with you right next to him. You're like, ah, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know that's I mean? me, you know, yeah. But I, it, it takes a particular woman to be able to understand Absolutely. and read the room, mm-hmm. and also it takes a particular type of woman to be able to make her man feel that way. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people take that into account. Yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <sighs> Yeah. Um, I think that there's there's like surface level stuff that that girls do, but then I feel like there's like some some other things that are small, but I, for us goes a long way, mm. okay. you know. Because I don't think we require a lot from from our partners. I think there's a lot of things that we could provide for ourselves. Yeah. So I feel like the few things that we can't provide for ourselves, like small moments of like you know self gratification that they can do for us, I feel that I feel like that's what goes a long way. That's probably one of the things that would keep us like locked down like cuffed yeah mm. and interested yeah. i agree with you for like the part that if she's getting approached by another man i'm not reacting actually me you know i'm in the middle of like both of you guys i do have my goofy side so i'll more be like look at her with a smile and then how are you gonna handle this and then if she's like come save me i'm like no 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 you, you good do your thing you got you this yeah and obviously if we get to the point that the guy is making her uncomfortable then i get yeah there, now you step in like and it's my type to just to just show you know what's mine and then just come and just kiss her and be like yo you good and then keep walking yeah just to you know grab a cheek yeah, yeah grab it just on her waist or whatever and just make sure that he sees that it's yeah, mine yeah, yeah. And then I keep walking or right? if anything like you know go you know like go like go get some shots for yourself you know what I mean mm. go get go get some free drinks mm. yeah. which is bring me back bring me back bring home. it back to me <laughs> dead ass yeah, and how do you guys feel on the opposite way which is how do you 
how do you guys want your girl to react when you have female attention? Ooh. Right? Because uh, for my part, like, I, I can't lie. Every time I go out, I do get approached too. You know, and you, you can get approached, you can get approached, or well, get approached, right? And then is there a way that your girl is supposed to act for you that I'll be fine? Or if she acts a certain way, you'll be like, uh, that's an ick. I think we all handle the situation the same way, though, the three of us. But uh, when we get approached by girls? Like a conversation, a conversation, you know? Yeah, I don't, yeah. I, out of respect for our partner, like, w we never go beyond the scope of that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we all had the same issue, all three of us, that for us, just having a conversation, apparently, our girlfriends or whatever say that we're flirting because just us having a Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that's about. <laughs> yeah, what is don't get it. <laughs> That's just the way you talk. That's right? That's the way we are. Apparently, I'm flirting with every girl as, as soon as I open my mouth. That it's not with her, I'm flirting. Yeah, yeah, yeah if yeah, I yeah. smiled a little bit too much. Yeah. If I showed and the top and bottom row of my teeth. You know, <laughs> like, what, was that, what does that mean? You know, you know it's, it's, but not. It's, it's, it's so not that deep. It's really not. I think it's just the way we are. We just talk like that. We're just like, we're, I don't know. It's. But there's, there's been instances, for example, that, you know, if a girl is getting handsy, yeah. you, you pull like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, <laughs> you know you're I mean? dodging the head. <laughs> <laughs> but you know well i mean if it's like a like a passing thing i mean you're not gonna be like like, like that but yeah. it's like it's a, a touch and pause yeah you know what i mean like i don't obviously out of respect mm -hmm. you know girls get so so uh <laughs> what is that you just like, take it a hand and like what are you doing? oh yeah but like, you're still making eye contact and smiling and <sighs> you know one thing that's super simple that they do and like our girl hates just here not here not here just, just the, the yeah. arm. Just arm. Oh yeah, for real. So how's been your day? And then they, they just, they just, they just grab. feel your arm. And then your girl looks at you with like, bro, fire but, eyes. But, like, but girl, but girls are like that, huh? Girls. Oh wow! Like wow! Like you, go, you, you must go to the gym. Yeah. Huh? yeah, yeah. Or I, I you, you know, you know what I've been, you know what I've been getting lately. What? Me, it's you know, it's it's tattoos, right? Yeah. So like, gra no, grab my hand. Oh, like oh, you have such nice tattoos. <gasps> or it's the neck, right? They go like. Nice tattoo. Oh, and I'm like, shit. <laughs> it's not only that, but like, I don't know you that, you know, like, I get it, but I don't know you like that. Yeah, Even yeah. if I'm single, like, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know you like that. Please don't touch me. Yeah. It's like, what is that? It's, buddy, it's a fucking it's a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it's a fucking shit. leaf. But, but, uh, but how I would want her to be, a, I mean, I can't lie. I think a little bit of jealousy is... It's cute. It's cute. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I, like I said, we're we're all three conscious men that mm -hmm. we never put our 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 women in a position where they should feel mm. that way, in, insecure mm -hmm. or that way, yeah, or or be sleazy in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. But if ever it does happen, yeah, it could be it could be a little cute. You know, you like seeing a little spice. I think it's cute. And what I like is basically, let's say a girl's talking to me whatsoever, and it's not like it's not that deep, and she comes and she's just like start touching me. She's like, oh. Hi, babe, or you know, just like all the touch that she gives me, I'm like, I'm like, oh yes, I mm. yeah, I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours, you know, yeah. I like that. It's cute, you know. And she kisses me in front of the girl, give me a, like a little, a little yeah, you yeah. know, on the cheek, like, ah, ah. <laughs> and like she it. she opens the door to, for you to be like, oh, by the way, like this is my girlfriend, and this is yeah, you know, yeah. so exactly. And so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here, yeah, this, yeah. this, yeah. You know, um, a, a good point for me, I think it's important. Girls, especially girls, girls love to have something that other girls want. Ooh. Which is you, right? So uh, my like partner, girls want what they can't have, kind yes, of thing. Yes, they can't yeah. have. They, oh, okay. Like yeah. when you're in a relationship, so when you're in a relationship, girls want you a hundred times more. It's <laughs> insane. It's insane. It's like uh, as soon as I'm in a relationship, I have more DMs than when I'm single. Nice. It makes no sense whatsoever. Like yeah. hello, but it was just come back to the point. For me, and I'm talking for me, I like to get it spicy. I love that. Like you, that, he's toxic as fuck. <laughs> no, I'm not. Him. Look at that. He, look at that. He's. I love that. It no, but I love spicy. that shit because I know I know I'm respectful. You know, I'm never gonna cross that line. Yeah. But I know I get female attention, right? So I love like making her, you know, it could sound bad, but I know that girls to a certain extent they love that shit because they they want to, you know, it's mine. It's my shit. Yeah. Sometimes they need to to feel that way too, right? So then when a girl comes to me and then she starts talking to me or whatever, and then I have, I'm just talking to her normally, yeah, but yeah, I have yeah. the smile that you're saying then, just the just little, smile, little, whatever. Little. Somehow, right away, I see the look, man. The look over there. See, I, I can hear the heavy breathing across <laughs> the room, bro. I, I, that I... <laughs> and then comes and then gets, gets cheese. Gets, uh, 
why are you talking to her? What up? I don't know. What'd you guys say? What you talking about? But the best, the best line is, why? You jealous? <laughs> why? What's up? You got something you, got something you want to say? Uh, I'm, I'm, no. No. I'm not jealous, no, but like, nothing. what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, why oh, are you talking okay, to cool. her? Why are you interesting? You're flirting with her. No, no, no. no we're just talking. What's up? Are you worried, though? Yeah, what's up? You think... Uh, are you not proud that, like, you know, girls are hitting up know? on your man? Yeah. <laughs> you don't like when I'm talking to her like that? <laughs> Yo, was, I know, but he's changed much? a lot. Cause I, I guarantee that this motherfucker <laughs> has a past of being toxic. <laughs> I yeah, when I was younger, I was definitely toxic, but now I'm just having fun with it to to just make her like I know. Let's say spicy. My, I like. I just love that. I love seeing her saying like like you like that. You like seeing me like this, and I'm literally telling her you like that shit too, and then she. She's like, because she expect me to, to 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 say like, oh, don't worry, baby, I'm yours. Fuck this shit. It's not fun. <laughs> fun. It's not fun. And you get, you know what? As soon as you do this shit, when she's like, oh, like I, this is mine, and then you, you know, you stay a little toxic, spicy, bro. Sex at night. She takes claim. Yeah, she takes claim. She fucks you like it's the first time she... Like, She's like, yeah? She's like, yeah, you wanted to talk yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. Talk shit. Remember shit. this shit. <laughs> yeah. And then she tells you like, this is a little bit like, you know, and then she tells you that's the only fucking pussy you're going to fuck. And then, dead ass. And I'm like, yeah, dead ass. That's mine. And then they yeah. get... See all the spice? How the spice gets there? Wait, spice. Let's pause. Whoa, so, my guy just... Are you, are you okay? Yo. Yo. <laughs> Whatever, but yeah, no. So see, this is why I'm doing I'm doing this shit because I I think it, sex is better no, after. No, yeah, I get yeah. happy, and then the morning after, she's still <sighs> like she's and then she I I can see even I do some shit like that sometimes. I just like yo, I check her and I'm like, just just the morning after, you know, everything is done, and then I just keep it going just to you know, and then and then I make I'm like oh. That's how she was touching me. Is that what we're bothering you? Yesterday? You so you bring it up again? Yeah, and then she's like, oh, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm joking. Have a good day. And then, Don't you ever take my hand like that again? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. crazy, though. Um, we went off on a whole tangent. This is great because what I wanted to go through is our is our types of women, right? We, you know, for the people who didn't see the stories that we did, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, types of women, right? We all share more or less the same, right? Like, I'll give an example. Carl loves snow bunnies. I yo, that's Carl. snow bunny. Yo, listen, guys, this, guys, is, this listen. is this is a no judgment zone. Like I'm, people, people are gonna know. <laughs> the, people are gonna get to know the real Carl, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shame. There's no that's hiding crazy it. Crazy to me. So Carl is snow bunnies and Habib T. Habib T's. Okay. Anyways, say no. Say on God. Yeah, it's not that right what now. What do you mean? It's not. I'm. I'm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, yeah. For my part, I would say mixed girls. And for surgery part is blondes, toxic. Toxic. It's why, not toxic. Why are you saying? <laughs> why are you saying? It's not toxic, toxic anymore. <laughs> if you okay, look up, if toxic. you look at my track record, okay, <laughs> exactly. maybe. Okay, but but no, what 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 it is now? No, I like me, you know, short, blondies. Look at him. Look at him. Butterflies, my guy. <laughs> He's like down. Thinking about what's up. That's you. you. And That's I would you. I would say I would say, but you talking just physically. Uh, no, 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 no. But but uh, the first thing that I was going based off of is physical, and then thing, and then second thing is, um, what do you guys think about height? Shorter, height. taller than uh, taller, shorter than y'all? Doesn't doesn't matter. I'm six two, so like for me, what perfect would be like under six anything. three, huh? Six four. She could dunk <laughs> on you. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, but, like big men too, right? What's up? You like know what I'm Yeah. <laughs> nah. You like the big yadim. <laughs> <laughs> the goddamn thing. <laughs> um, I think I mean, it's more like um, anything under like five eight, you know. So uh, five eight. Oh five, yeah. Seven, what's the what's the, isn't the average like five five six five 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 five? No five four. I think five for four, girls. Yeah. Five four. Is the say guys is five seven. Me, it, it, it's simple. So long as I could do this, mm. and rest my head on your head, it's fine. It's on a gang, mm. and and in heels that you're still shorter than me, then mm -hmm. we're straight. I can have me a short. Yeah. A little For short, me, short. as long as you're under 5'10, it's okay. Under what, sorry? 5'10. You're acting like you're 6'4, bro. Um, no, but. <laughs> no, but what he's saying is that, the, like, he's yeah. basically saying that yeah. the highest that you could go would be 5'10. He would okay, allow okay. is 5'10. Gotcha. Yeah. Five, yeah. Five, Pulls up the measuring tape every he's time. Like, I'm like, you're 5'11. I can't. Five, 11, yeah, I you're cannot. too tall to ride this <laughs> ride. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I get that. Sugar babies or no sugar babies? 
Okay. I, I can answer actually the first one mm. better. I would look for someone that can provide for herself for me to provide for her. Do you get it? Do you get it? Repeat that. So, well, are I'll, you saying that yeah. like you want somebody that could provide for herself? She's and capable you, of doing it, and then I'll provide just help for her. her. I see what you mean. I got that. No, no. Oh. I so that then I if I, at some point, for any kind of reason, I can't provide for her, she's able to do whatever. For herself, yeah. But I don't want to have this... This, her I have depending to, on you. Yeah, and then if I'm not, I have to stress over me. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I want her to be able to, to. You know why? Because even if I provide for her, all the money that she does and her things or whatever, she'll create something different. Yeah. Thanks. That's better for us, and then we'll be a power. And, and and that's important for me too, because I mean, as you as you guys know, and you, from my past relationships and stuff, I love providing, mm -hmm. right? But I provide, like strategically. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that. So at some point down the line, it's reciprocated. Yeah, I'm not talking about dollar for dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, if I if I provided in, in in different ways, ten times, fifteen times in a row, and you come through, you know, after fifteen times, mm -hmm. the fact that you came through that one time, it gives it, it, it gives it, 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 it confirms that you you are grateful and you recognize for the past you, fifteen things that you. I did. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So although like it has nothing to do with the monetary value like at all, it's just more short, it's just more sh uh, so the action of it mm -hmm. that to me means a lot and will continue to make me want to continuously provide things. Yeah, mm -hmm. you that. know what I mean. Yeah. So like essentially like it's kind of like a like a give and take. Like there is like like some testing involved because mm -hmm. at some point if I caught myself like on 16, 17, 18, 19 times, twenty times of provision, and not only that, but if you start giving me shit that I don't do anything for you, oh no, that's crazy. Or I never asked for it. You know what I'm saying? Like oh you do whatever, and then she's like, "Oh, I never asked you to do this, those for me." On my dear life, I'm changing countries, <laughs> and I'm, I'm never coming back. I get that. Ghost. Just saying, bro. Ghost for real. Go ghost right away. <laughs> but anyway, I never asked for you to do this for me. You're just sitting like, I right, stand up and you leave. That's it. Damn. Um. Uh, what was I? Gonna, I was gonna ask something else. T'as pas d'autres questions dans votre truc? I think I, I think I might have, but I think I asked them all though. Oh yeah, this is a good one. So once you guys are dating, right? W like, what do you think is it? Like, what is the definitive not moment, but what do you guys consider it when it goes from dating to being a little bit more exclusive? Like, what is it for you guys that you tell yourself, like, you know what? Like, we've been dating for a little bit, like. I'm ready to be exclusive. Dating like, or like talking? Because like dating as we go on dates. Or like dating a, that you're going on like, dates, like you're getting to know her. Like you guys have been chilling. You guys have been hanging out. You guys yeah. have gotten to know each okay, other. Okay. Met each other's friends on, on a very like you know, simple level. Yeah. But like how do you know that you are starting to like someone? Mm. Oh, um, I think me as a person when uh, I'm able to like have that physical touch whatever in public. Like, you know, I'm not dating, dating her. But like I'm able to like, just, you know hands around whatsoever you know a first date whatsoever i'm not gonna be touchy with any or anything but as soon as i get comfortable and she gets, she gets comfortable with me also we get to like touch each other in public that's when i know like we're a bit more exclusive in a way you know because there's i i hope there's no other guy that's actually just holding your hand or just like doing all that stuff with you in public you know mm. so i think that when it gets to like touchy level levels on in public that's where i know we're like a bit more exclusive yeah um for my part i we just need to have a conversation hmm. about it. It's as simple as that. And I don't have like a certain amount of date. I don't have like anything that is, okay, now we're exclusive. Um, even if we had sex, like it doesn't, because, and it goes for both parts. Like if you still want to date and we had sex or whatever, just, I just want to talk about it. Like, you know, like just have this what conversation, sit down and then we're like, I hey, listen, like, I feel like we, we can be exclusive. Like, I don't know how you feel about that, blah, 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 blah. And then if both, part are like yeah i want to be exclusive then but it's more so like when do you feel like you know that you like the person like do you feel, like i'll give you an example like for me i know i'm starting to like the person if this person is is able to make uh, to get me to open up about certain things mm. okay because i'm a really closed off person especially when it comes to dating after everything that's happened like i'm really 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 closed off mm -hmm. right so i don't i know there's some people that start with all their trust and they give it and then they wait for you to prove them otherwise i'm the complete opposite i give you nothing and then you earn it. Okay. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So in order for me to even get to the point where I, I, I give some parts of my life, like my story, my history, my friends, uh, you know, stuff about me, like weird shit about me, like things that I, I typically would only keep to myself. Like the minute that I start like 
that you are able to get those things out of me means that you, that you got something special. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're, if you're able to chisel away those things and you make me feel comfortable and you make me like open enough to want to say these things. Yeah. That's when I'm like, damn, this bitch is fucking with me. <laughs> 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 so that, that's what I mean. Like yeah. if, if there's something that you like that you start to feel or you start to act a certain way that you know like fuck, like actually. So for me, if we go on like we go on many dates, restaurants, uh, um, ice cream, whatever. Like we go on many dates, and then at some point, we start doing unprepared dates and stupid dates. Like it's not even a date; it's just an activity doing something like completely just stupid. Uh, I'll give you an example. I'm with this girl. I was going on dates, restaurants, 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 whatever. And then at some point, she like grabbed me at like midnight, and she says, "We're going to this like professional." Um, football uh, stadium and then we just get in and we go in the middle of the stadium. Oh, shit. Stuff like that. Wow, stuff, stuff like that. And That's then we're lit. all in mm-hmm. joggings and she picked me in the middle of the night yeah, like yeah, yeah. just out of the blue. Yeah, nothing yeah, prepared yeah, yeah. whatsoever. Mm-hmm. She's like, do you want like a um, intense like feeling or whatever and then just to go to this, the stadium and go in the middle of a professional fucking stadium, football stadium? I'm like, oh, all right. And then I just go and then we just vibe. We just go, yeah, we just vibe and then we just go sat on the middle of the stadium and I loved it. This is the point that I'm like, Oh, okay, now it's like yeah. I kind of really like you because you make me do things Stuff out of my uh, yeah. comfort zone, out yeah. of my comfort zone, and mm-hmm. then the fact that you're comfortable also doing these things. Uh, some oh, what, what is it? Um, it finds it, me. It, 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 well, yeah, it finds you. It hits yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, it hits me. Touch then, like a soft spot. Yeah, it, because it's more than just restaurants now. It's more than just like yeah. little days, whatever. Yeah, 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 I get that. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just uh, when uh, I'm able to see the girl more than once a week. Or twice or three times a week. Because you know, guys, yeah. I cancel stuff whatsoever. But if I'm able to like see you one day and I'm like, I could see her tomorrow again, that's when I know, okay, it's different now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I'm like, oh, what are you doing tomorrow? Or what are you doing right now? If I say, if I text you and I say, what are you doing right now? <laughs> it's because I like you. you know because mm, right. <laughs> if, if you're genuinely curious about what they got going on. Exactly. If I'm busy and everything. And if I say, I'm, what are you doing right now? That's it's because I, I find time to see you whatsoever. So I want to spend that time exactly with you and just to get to know each other more and everything. So uh, ladies, especially if Carl is doing that to you and he's asking you like, what's up? It's because he actually cares because this motherfucker has the least amount of patience when it comes to these things. (laughs) When it comes to entertaining, like those kind of conversations, you have the least amount of patience. It's crazy. That's that's what I'm saying. So wait, wait. What do you mean by least uh, patient for entertaining? To, towards entertaining, like like talking to yeah. to girls like that. You think so? Because I think you're the worst. For Pati- being honest. No, mm. because he he talks to <laughs> to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, <laughs> me, I'm, I'm selective to who I talk to, and uh-huh. then within the the small pool of people that I talk to, I I don't have patience for everybody. That's for sure. Okay, I I really don't. You're right. I don't have a lot of patience for it. Because I think he has patience. Because sometimes he be entertaining to people. I'm like, what the fuck? I, but why? you're it's, but it's you're weird, t- weird. <laughs> because he says just, he's he's gonna say like he's gonna read a text message and he's be like, I genuinely don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but then he'll be like, but it, but then you'll go, you'll be like, I, you'll be like, I genuinely don't give a fuck. And it and proceeds to answer, but bro, I, I don't. First of all, I don't want to be a, a, a mean guy whatsoever, and it's nice. We're just we're just talking. Just but I don't like the message. And then yeah, I don't know what's it. worse. I don't know what's worse. I don't know if it's worse entertaining the person and never like developing. But we're having with them. a chat. It's we're just talking. But you you don't like it. It's not that I don't like it. It's Carl, just no, no, tell no, me, you tell don't me, like it. Carl, so. tell me right now that you enjoy every single conversation that you're having. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, but. I don't know. I don't. I don't see it as a bad thing. I'm just. We're just talking. I'm just being a nice guy. So I'm then don't. Ge- compl- I'm, so then, I'm, then, then then I don't want to hear it anymore. Bro, I'm. Then don't I'm complain like about that it. Would... You can't complain anymore. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not complaining though. No, you can't complain. Yes, you do. I think. I think yeah, we yeah. have the same amount of patience though. Yeah. Well, for me, I could be in. I'm bad too though. I don't, I'm definitely not. not like Actually, no. You are though. I think. I think I'm. I'm the worst still. Because for me, if you annoy me one time, I'm. He's out. I'm, de- I'm unfollowed, delete. I'm done. It takes That's two seconds. And he actually you know unfollows and deletes I'm done. and everything. He blocks. You know the, the new TikTok trend? I'm gone. Cut it down. I'm gone. Yeah. That's me. This That's, is me. You do one shit, I'm gone. Like, it's, it's literally as... Because for me, my philosophy towards that, if you annoy me... Now. Now, and we're not even Dang. in a relationship, imagine where we're going to be in a relationship. How <laughs> annoying you're going to be. 
That's nice. How can you already annoy me? How? You're supposed to be on your best behavior. I'm supposed to be on my best behavior. I'm not saying that, like, I'm perfect. Maybe I did some shit and girls are like, oh, fuck, this guy's annoying. Same fucking shit and then just disappear. Then for me, it's not. For you guys, you're going to be like, mm, okay. And then keep entertaining. You It's insane. She'll do a hundred type, a hundred things and you'll be like, huh, annoys me as fuck. But how was your day? <laughs> it's true. I don't think it's that bad. I'm just talking. Anyways. <laughs> I, I got a question though. Yeah. What do you guys think about ghosting? Like, just like I have no problem ghosting. That sounded okay. really fucked up. Hold on. <laughs> first, of all, first of all, I asked a question. I, he was so quick to answer. Yeah. I have no problem with ghosting. <laughs> but hold on, let me let me elaborate first. I'm very I'm somebody who's very cutthroat. Mm. Like in my relationships, like with exes, I'm very cutthroat. I, so if I'm like that. Like after I break up with somebody that I've been with for a while, imagine how I am with people Somebody that you don't, you don't know. I'm not even dating anymore. Right. But I ghost in the sense where, um, actually, I got this from you. Where it's <laughs> you, 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 you keep talking, just like less and less frequent until it just fades, and, fades. Okay, mm. you know what I mean. I think yeah. it's the same for me. And then you just, but the fade literally just goes from like they text and then like you just like never respond. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? I just sometimes I just forget to answer. <laughs> ghosting like if I ghost or if she ghost or both you well more, like, how more, do I feel mostly about? you yeah. me, I don't think you care to get ghosted I I but you have a big ass ego yeah. oh my god I don't even you know, know what he's gonna he do you know what he's gonna do if, if, if he gets ghosted by the girl he's gonna try to get her back just so he could ghost her <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna pull to get yeah. that attention again for her yeah. to reply yeah. he's gonna be like I let's go on like, a date she's gonna be like I when and where he's gonna say Wednesday this time I'm gonna pick you up Wednesday doesn't show up. Never did that. Doesn't though. answer. Never did that. <laughs> that I crazy. never did that. That is crazy. Uh, for my part, I but I don't ghost. I do the same thing. I just explain. Like I just, I'll the fading is gonna come very fast. But I'll I'll text you more less frequent and then ghost. But just like after one day, just ghost. I never did that. Yeah. Most of the time, it's because I forget to answer. And after I forget to answer, after like twelve hours or like yeah, but bro, thirteen geez. hours, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> After a while, it's it comes out disrespectful. I'm not gonna yeah, answer yeah, after yeah. like a day or two. Okay, you know listen, I'm I'm throwing out a number. I'm not saying that it's that. All right, but when you're talking to a hundred different women, okay, that's a lot. There's no way in hell that you could even remember who you're, Carl. <laughs> there's no way that you could remember every single girl's birthday, every single, <laughs> what they do for a living, how many siblings they have, because you're gonna you're gonna say like, oh, how's your brother? How's She's gonna it? be like, I have no brother. <laughs> Oh, are you from Laval? No, I'm from... Yeah, Archie Sagittarius is like, broskies, I'm a fucking cancer. What do you mean? <laughs> so I would understand that you ghost people by not remembering to answer them. Yeah. Facts. That is our, that is our part one of our two-part segment about dating. And then for the next few episodes to come, we're going to be talking relationships. We have a whole bunch of other things that we're going to be talking about that I'm sure you guys are going to be able to enjoy. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give us five stars. What is it on Amazon? Amazon. Five stars on Amazon. <laughs> Give us a five-star um, review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. I don't know how it works yet. I'll let y'all know. Once oh, I know, y- y'all will know. Uh, but signing out, it's been your boy Sergio's Talks. Matt. Okay. <clears throat> And we out.